Hey guys, so my name is Katia and I've been wanting to do this video for like a while now. Basically, I get really tired of like not wearing makeup even though I feel like I don't really need it. I am like breaking out a little bit, but yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna show you from where I start. Like this is my very beginning um, no makeup at all whatsoever the only thing I did was my hair and the first thing I'm gonna say is like you have to have natural even lighting well actually I like it like that because you know natural lighting is how people are gonna look at your face not like in studio lighting normally and even lighting is just important for you to do your makeup evenly so i have a mirror right here i'm doing my makeup in my car because it's actually like a really good natural even kind of lighting as long as you hit the sun right which is cool i'm gonna start by moving my bangs over and doing my eyebrows Ugh. okay i'm just gonna go like that i brush them up first because it gives them more of a shape. Some people brush them down, but I like to do it up. And then I literally, it's just like the back of the pomade brush, pomade. And then I take pomade, just like a, the lightest one they have because I'm blonde. This is actually really nice lighting right here. And I only fill in the part of the brows that need to be filled in and I start from the middle because it's the darkest part. And then over to the front I literally just trace like my eyebrow and I fill in like the parts that need to be filled in and then I go over it I like to make them a little bit higher it gives them more shape and this one it always goes down more than my other one so I'm gonna make it go a little bit up right here Good enough for now. That's a huge difference. You can kind of like swoop it in the middle. About a little bit more up. Okay. And then you have to make them match. But I'm going to go start from the middle underneath because this one is not like as low as my other one. One is just higher than the other and it's this one that's higher. I'm just fill in kind of the parts that need to be filled in. It's just parts that are not growing any hair but are obviously still in your eyebrow, not like around it. And then go in. Oh. Yeah, they're coming out really good. Oh, by the way, I'm sitting in the rain right now. I love it. I'll maybe turn this around later so you guys can see, but I don't want to mess up my camera angle. That looks really good. And then I go actually and I make different shapes with my face and kind of make sure they're even. It doesn't matter what face I'm making. So, you know, lift my eyebrows up. really 
that's good enough for now. And then, so I'll close that. And that was the, I can't really read the label. It's all messed up. But it's a pomade. Yeah. From the tattoo studio. Okay. So next things next, I'm going to take a brush, take a water because I'm sitting in my car. I'm going to just open up the window. And I'm going to wet this sponge. I know, I still use those triangle sponges. I haven't invested in a um, blender, a beauty blender yet, but I need to. It's okay, these are good. They come in like a bag of like 100, so you always have more. And then I use Fit Me foundation. Um, my skin gets very oily, so I make sure I get the matte and poreless one so that my skin doesn't get oily. And my shade is, um, right now I'm very pale and it's 115. Yeah. And then I make a double chin so I can blend it easier and I don't have a line below my face. It looks ugly and people will make fun of me, but whatever. It works. And then go up into your hairline so you also don't have a line. So that part is done and then to the other side so I generally start from the middle right here and I work my way out and I go over my bags and I spread it throughout the middle we'll go over that right there and then that too And double chin it. And then go into your hairline again. Go right under your eye so. and put like a little bit more on. I'm only putting it on the little triangle thing, by the way, not my skin. And go in the middle of your face, which is your nose. And then I like to shape my eyebrows, or well, at least clean them up right here. I go over my eyelid and it puts a base on for, you know, everything. And then I go right under my eyebrow with the straight part and it shapes them. Make sure you have at least a little bit of your foundation on it and it just wipes all of that stuff that's basically not gonna be in the straight part shape off. So the underneath of your eyebrows will come out straight.
Okay. Yeah, that looks better. And then I make sure my eyebrows are still even because I'm shaping them kind of with this brush and they look like they are but one thing every girl should do honestly is okay do you see your bags right here everyone has bags right there okay that should be the start of your eyebrow so take this little straight thing and kind of go where your bags start and just swipe it up yeah and then do that with the other side too, where your bags start and swipe it up. Hmm, I might have messed that up a little bit. But anyway, just if you mess up, just go back and swipe it down a little bit. But basically, you don't want to like a hecka uneven, like one down here and one up here. So, this is what you're basically fixing right now. That looks good. There's another trick to that, too. Go get back to it. And then go over here and just take the straight part and swipe your eyebrow with it and just go around it to clean it up it makes them really really even and then you can i'm also going to fix the middle right here just because i realized as i was cleaning it that i didn't really put enough right there and this is like always the trickiest part when you're trying to get them to be even but i think that looks good and then this one too i'm gonna swipe it a little bit more down than this one because it always goes more up So now it matches a little bit more. And this one I'm swiping a little bit more up to match the other one. And then just take it and you can kind of like pat your brush. This is what really makes them even. You can pat your brush up and bam, even eyebrows. So for this one, only because I need to add more, I think, right in here. But I think that looks good. Okay, and then forehead. Yeah, honestly, I think that looks good. I'm gonna go down here. I kind of have a big forehead, but I mean, it's not like alien size. And then go up here and go into your hairline again. Hmm. 
and perfect. So that's the base of your makeup. And then concealer, you're gonna put on concealer next. And I use this more as like a contour to like highlight the lighter parts of my face without actually using highlighter. So like right here, you don't wanna use highlighter on your bags anyway. And you always just wanna cover them up as much as possible because you don't wanna look tired. I look tired often and go down just because it gives you like a nice little triangle in the center of your face right here it looks really nice and um this right here covers up the rest of your bags because you actually have bags up until your eyebrows for those of you who don't know and then you want to make a line down your nose so it'll highlight your nose and right here for your upper lip and on your chin because otherwise you're skipping the lower part of your face <sighs> and i mean you could go forehead too but honestly like i'm just gonna blend it out into my forehead anyways plus i have bangs so it doesn't matter okay and tap it just pat it you can't like rub it otherwise it's not gonna look good But yeah, just um, pat it until it blends. Pat the inner eye. And I use a different part of my sponge for this. Not the same part as like my foundation and not the same part as anything else. It's just its own part. And also when I'm doing this, I don't go all the way up to my eye because I feel like it kind of makes your eyes look a little bit more tired. But instead I stop a little bit right under it and it makes it almost look like I'm wearing eyeshadow without actually putting on eyeshadow. So, um, two pluses for that one. And then I pat my nose. And this is just concealer and I pat all the way up here and this is like another thing that also makes your eyebrows really even because you're especially if you're going right in the center yeah it looks really good and pat right there and right here I try to pat my chin a little bit more down than up so it like highlights it. And I do kind of spread it out into my forehead. That's why I was like, you could put a line there. I don't, but you could. That looks good. Okay, next thing I do is I... I take a little bit of um, liquid highlighter and this is how I get hmm, do I want to use liquid highlighter I'll do it next time so next, this is more of a natural face that I'm getting at today. So next thing I do, but yeah, I'll do a full face, like a full, full face next time. I don't really have that kind of time today, but um, yeah, I'll show you how I look really glam for other things. Anyway, I take a really pigmented highlighter anyway, but this is just a powder one. Um, usually I would wear a liquid one too, but today I'm not having that much time and I just kind of make a line across my cheek right here and then I blend it out and going up first and then I blend it out going down 
And I like it because it's a really pigmented highlighter too. And then you can go in like circles. Yeah, it's really blended now. And the same thing with the other side, which is, as you can see, it's my most used. I love highlighter. And then do the same thing right in the center of your cheek, not at the top part, not at the bottom, but in the very center where it comes the most out. Put that line there. And then blend it up. And blend it down. And go in circles. And make sure it matches the other one. I think that one has a little bit more. Sometimes it comes out like that because, um, you know, you're putting on second, so you have all of the stuff from the first cheek going on to the next one, too. So, yeah, make sure it's just like the center has to be the brightest part. Just like your eyebrow, the center is the darkest part. Good enough for now. Highlight your nose a little bit and your upper lip, like your wishbone. That always looks really good highlighted. And then take it and go kind of like that with your brush. And I like to squeeze mine together because it's kind of fatter. And that way I can get like the underneath of the outer part of my eyebrows and kind of blend it to the inner part. So start with the center and go out and then start going in to blend it. And then I also do the corner of my eyes. It makes you look more awake and alive. And then after that, I take my face powder and it can be like any powder it can be translucent powder which i actually really like a lot or i use this fit me it kind of fits my foundation it's a maybe a shade too light for me but whatever um and i start with the center and i do the other center but I try not to go over the highlighter on my cheeks because it takes away the shine, I feel like. And then go to the um, inner part of your cheek, but not over your highlighter. Blend it down. Do that ugly face again. Same thing on this side. on your chin. You can go over all your other highlighter. It doesn't make that much of a difference. And go under your hairline. But if you go over your cheeks, I just feel like that should be the most highlighted part. It just has to be cleaned up like your eyebrows. And then your nose. And I like to squeeze this brush together also. Every time I go down, I'm putting more makeup on it and squeeze it so it goes on my eyelid and I'm not I try not to go purposely over my highlighter but it does get some of it off I think it cleans it up a little bit and then go up and on your forehead into your hairline. Okay, so that's just like kind of your basis of your face, okay? But I think that the face is 
really about your eyes and your lips even if you're doing a natural look so make sure you always have mascara and i use um scandalize i think it's a retro glam and it is found at like walmart for like 10 bucks and yeah it's the extreme black not waterproof one and i'll show you why not waterproof when i do a video about washing my face okay anyway i just put it on like this i like this mascara because it's used for volume and not so much length which i already have length but volume i feel like everyone loves volume and length but like i said my eyelashes are already pretty long And make sure you get the outer corner of your eyes. It makes your eyes look really big. And then do your bottom lashes too. I know some of you are like, duh, but like some people don't do their bottom lashes. When I was in ninth grade, I didn't do mine either. hair stuck to that okay So there's my mascara and some of you are probably like okay she's done but no you're wrong i'm never done okay i'm gonna get rid of this black stuff on my eye it's actually kind of going into it and all i have are dirty q-tips um if all you have are old q-tips this might be kind of weird but like you can totally just rip part of it off and get that nice white part again. Especially when all you need to do is like that. Okay, much better. Okay, something I do um, that makes my eyelashes really boom and make them look really fake. People think I'm wearing fake eyelashes all the time and it's cause of the way I do them. Okay, so when I have my first layer on, my second layer goes on behind my eyelashes like this. And it really gets the top of them. So the top of them extend too and it's not just on the bottom front, it's on the top, back, the back top. And you can really get like the corner of your eyes this way. Any eyelashes you miss are really easy to get that way. And then always do the bottom too. 
Do the same thing to the bottom that you did to the top. And then the same thing to the other side. And if you're getting little mascara spots on, even if you did an eyeshadow or if you're like me and just did, you know, the face makeup, but see I'm getting little black spots, um, just leave them there and let them dry and you can wipe them off with a Q-tip later without smearing them. But if you try to wipe them off right now, you're just going to get like a huge smear and you're going to take off more makeup and it's just going to be a frustrating mess. Just leave it there, let it dry, and it'll literally like flake off. I'll show you. Perfect. And then I'm going to do the bottom. And that part is a little clumpy. My eyelashes just get clumpy um, sometimes. But I take usually either some tweezers. Like I have these little thin tweezers. I don't really use them for plucking or anything. Um, but I use them just for stuff like this. So I can take that. I'm just going to separate my eyelashes. And it gets like the huge clumps out so it doesn't look bad. Get to that one too. And if you think they're like sticking together, yeah, you can use it to like separate it. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. And then you can go back. I usually just do the top when I go back. Um, because it raises them up more. It really makes it look like you're wearing fake eyelashes. Cause it extends them to the max, especially right after you did the back. It's now putting a, like another coat on the front and extending even the back that you just did, which is awesome. Do you see the difference between that and that? Perfect. Okay. And now I did say it's about lips and eyes. And what I usually do, let me find it. I have so much in my bag, it's ridiculous. lip gloss. I use like a, a kind of shiny blue one. Hmm. 
I usually put on lip liner, <clears throat> but I don't know if I have it with me. Oh, I do. Yay. Okay. So lips, I you want to make them look big and luscious like your eyes. Um, you can't just put your eyes big and have your lips small. It doesn't work out like that. Your face is not proportioned. Okay. Um, my bottom lip is way bigger than my top. So I go like this and I just make my top a little bit bigger by overdrawing just the middle section of the top of my lip, not the whole thing. And then up here. And then I just go over um, my actual lip. Well, you can kind of go like around it, but not, don't overdraw it too much. And blend it. And then what I do is I take like a contrasting lip gloss, like a blue, because this is pink. And then I just go over it and I rub it in. And bam, big, luscious lips. And then I'm putting my bangs back down. I'm actually getting ready for a promotion right now. And I feel like my normal self. And actually, I feel better to do everything today. Like, study. <laughs> I like to study pretty. And go to my promo, I feel like I actually look nice and decent and it did not even take me that long. This entire video up to this point is 40, 38 minutes and 45 seconds. Um, but yeah, that is my whole thing. And this is my first, vid first video on this channel, so I hope you guys like it. If you guys want more, leave me a comment, um, like it subscribe i'll definitely be posting more i'll go into detail about eyebrows and um you know how i do specific things me looking absolutely glam and i'm also gonna do more about other things like you know just talking about my life i'll give you guys i have a bunch of ideas um i have a long a lot of things i'm doing right now <laughs> so i will definitely have a lot of the categories so just be sure to browse through them if you want to look at more things besides makeup but if not this will be its own category um i'll have a bunch of different makeup things and you can see how i use them on my day-to-day -day life by browsing the other categories all right anyway my name is katia and uh that's it that's a wrap bye